many people across the world don't build buildings to go and worship their ancestors or spiritual beings of any kind. For many people, uh, spirits are in all of nature and sometimes even in the objects around them. So many people across the world don't have buildings. And I'm standing beside material that comes from Siberia. And here, hunter-gatherers and herders who live in very temporary camps uh, worship and connect to the spirits through the natural world. Unusually in Siberia, they do make images of their spirits. This is quite rare, but it's common across Siberia. And one of the, an example of this is um, from amongst the Iraqi people of southeast Siberia, where they will make images of the spirit of hunting who always has a dog because this relationship between human and nature is epitomized, is, is characterized by the relationship of someone with their dog. And so here we have a lovely little image of a hunting spirit with a reindeer skin lead attached to a wonderful white furry dog who's all bright and inquisitive and has beautiful blue turquoise eyes. Now, the sad thing about these little characters is if they don't bring good luck to the hunt, if things don't go well, this little image will just be abandoned in the, in the great expanse of wilderness that is Siberia. So spirits can be told off for not doing their job.